doing great and unspeakably great work. We've got Stussy's Holiday 2023 lookbook also. We're a bit heavy with the streetwear today. Um, we've got a collection here that is, of course, just standard great from Stussy, to be honest. Um, let's just read a bit of the blurb here. It says, for this holiday season, Stussy presents a versatile collection that blends technical textiles, seasonal mainstays, and cold weather essentials with its namesake patterns and recognizable iconography. Wrinkled nylon puffer jackets, sprayed dyed canvas big old jeans, and colorful knit wear are styled alongside mohair trench coats cordery blazers and shirling bombers layering classic silhouettes with brands laid back staples available worldwide at select chapter stores from friday the third at 10 a.m so if you're listening to this today you should have probably seen um some of this stuff being available um for me as per usual it's just always on point the styling is fucking great i want every single fucking piece in this fucking collection i'm not going to lie the fleece is absolutely incredible love everything about it but my favorite piece my favorite piece has to be to one of these jackets this leather jacket is absolutely god god tier it's probably going to be a million bucks but this sort of like crinkled um aesthetic leather jacket oh i've also noticed they've got an, a double s belt buckle thing as well a belt with um the double s on the inside insignia that's going to be a real popular sort of bit as well there people are going to get all over that one that was fucking great i love that again nice polar tech fleece they do really good fleeces i think over the season um i think there's probably no need to buy a north face denali uh it's probably probably makes more sense to get one from like brain dead or again from stussy because i feel like they do some really good fleeces season in season out um a nice leather bomber jacket with a hood there the pants are flipping amazing i also love the addition of these mountain boots that they have here i'm sure they're probably a, a, a collaboration with dine i forgot what the, the name of the brand is i think it's like dynamite or Dinimia, the Odini. I've got how you pronounce it properly. Um, I also love the fact that they have this orange bomber jacket. I've got too many of these anyway, but I do love when brands decide to sometimes flip the classic bomber jacket that's usually brown with the orange lining and have it with your orange lining on the outside. Um, the color looks great. The materials look like this might not be the the nylon type that you're used to. It looks like a brushed or some sort of cotton. It looks like maybe it's been instead. I'm not too sure. That looks really great as well. Um, i'm not too sure if their shoes there are dr martin's collab i'm not really too sure on that one but they look great the double breasted jack um blazer jacket looks awesome i'm not really fond of the styling on this though i think the abundance of these big old jeans are a bit too much i would probably wear these with a bit more slimmer cut of a jean but i do like this double breasted um blazer thing and of course the strip logo hat as well looks absolutely fire um great jacket there that real tree camo pants they've been all over the place i feel like this season they've been one of the most popular things i've seen out here um great again camo um uh print you got this girl wearing these big trousers with cowboy boots it looks like so i'm not too i'm not too mad at that to be fair those are really good look oh look at this this feels like what is what would you call that i think you'd call that a chesterfield maybe or maybe just a long coat that's been made in this really nice wool material it looks very very cozy and it's wrapped around on the waist with a belt that's a proper good jacket that's giving me adam kimmel vibes that's what i'm feeling with stussy these days whoever's designing for them i feel like it's giving me a lot of adam kimmel vibes if you know you know that looks really fantastic um and then my favorite piece is this this is the pest resistance this jacket that this model's wearing in blue i think it's called a ripstop jacket i think i might have it here on on the dover street market site yep there you go it's a men's parachute ripstop down puffer in powder blue i'm definitely getting this for this season it's absolutely gorgeous look at that that, that might have to be my coat for this season i've got a couple already that i'm going to be pulling out for the colder weather like my vetiman jacket that i've been um that i happen to get another one as well that i'm absolutely how happy about my parka but this might be my go-to day today i love the color that blue is so fucking beautiful i love the cinch at the bottom here um the silver um, zips are a really nice addition too they balance well with this jacket itself i'm not too sure if it has an inbuilt hood on the inside it may do it may not i'm not too sure i don't really that bother to be fair but it looks fucking great the shape of it is so good and then of course you've got this nice little um stussy hit there on the sleeve as it's been embroidered in it looks so fucking fantastic um it says here number five yk it's got a ykk metal zip a uh, metal zip pockets adjustable shock cord um hem and a stussy basic stock logo on the left cuff 900 nylon and fills down with 10 feathers so this is going to be super super warm 
Um, and it's only 300. I think for a down jacket in that shape, it's pretty decent to be fair. Um, it's probably cost less than a retail North Face to be fair. Um, and obviously you get the addition that it's not just a North Face. It's a little bit more cooler looking and stuff. So I love that jacket. That's one of my favorites. I think it also comes in black and I think another color. I think it's like a champagne brown, but to me, that sky blue. So that powder blue colorway is definitely the one for me. Um, you've got another long Chesterfield type jacket that looks really cool with a nice brown collar. Oh, look at the gloves. You've got leather driving gloves type of style with the S's on it. They look great. Oh, I'm all over them as well. That's definitely something I want to try and purchase. Those leather gloves look fucking great. Um, you've got this jacket, which looks like a bit like a field jacket in this nice camo blue type of color. I love that look actually with the suede or I think that's a corduroy, um, what you call it collar that works really well there i'm not really too mad at that also um you've got another puffer jacket another down jacket that looks more crinkled with the logos on the side again i love the logo patches on the sleeve i probably prefer those than having them on the chest i'm not going to lie when it comes to the jackets um and then again paired up with those same camo pants from that camo jacket up there at the top it looks really cool um again you've got the same i think same jacket kind of pattern I'm not too sure if it's been crinkled or if that's just like a pattern. I'm not too sure if the material's crinkled or pattern, but either way, I love it. Um, I love the basic black shorts with a little um, Stussy hit on the bottom there. I wonder if they were going to get um, more of those in different colorways. I guess so. Um, a nice Stussy sport t-shirt. I love that logo. Love the color combination also. Oh, look at that big blue jacket with a Stussy sport at the back. Again, I'm not really big on the big logos and whatnot, but there's something about that Stussy script that I just absolutely adore. Um, the fleece here looks absolutely great. Sort of like a chess piece um, design with the little green um, borders around the hexagonal brown bits and bobs on off-white color. Um, the combat pants here look really nice here. The cargo pants look really good there too. And then you've got this. That's, I think it's the same jacket I featured that I was talking about up, up top. It's sort of like a field jacket. You've got four pockets at the front and it's got this really nice kind of boxy shape to it. So yeah, I'm not mad at that. Um, that same jacket. No, this is more like a chore jacket. It feels like in a washed out blue with the same look, same color um, pants as well. I love that. This denim suit is absolutely brilliant. Oof, I'm not mad at that denim suit in the slightest. To be fair, you've got that piling on the inside, and you've got the double knee pants. Looks really awesome. You got a mohair again. I've seen a lot of this this season, probably because of the, the, the season. Loads of mohair, fluffy jumper type of things. You got this nice powder blue one, which looks great. The the puffy blue jumper with the pants and the Mary Jane's a nice little bit of styling. There, I'm not gonna lie, I'm not mad at that. Oh, look at this knit. That is lovely, isn't it? In that yellow, that would look really good on me, mate. That color on black skin is fucking golden. You've got this nice yellow, almost looking like a weird mix between lime green and yellow. It looks really good. And it's sort of almost see-through with this nice um, S logo on the back. That looks brilliant. Um, you've got this good shadow played um, flannel, I think, shirt, probably maybe zipped. And then you've got a nice bomber jacket with some good cargoes, also good real tree camo pants there, a nice vest car cardigan oh i love that hoodie actually that hoodie is oh that look is me all all day long that look there is me with this orange um fluffy sweater vesting or sweat fluffy hoodie um sweater thing at the moment you know i'm getting so gassed i'm kind of losing my words here and also these nice camo pants this is like me all over i love this look this look is fucking brilliant and then yeah and then the star photography you got liam mcrae um styling landon ebling and models are jan andriana and landon so definitely check it out if you haven't already stussy's coming at you very very strong not sure if it's available yet to see the, all the prices yet let me see if the if the, if the website is open just yet no not open yet just yet Honda collection delivery will be available soon um but yeah it's not open just yet we can't see what the prices are going to be like at the moment unfortunately um it's a password entry type of thing but at least we have an idea on the collection of what it looks like i think if we actually go here to actually dover street market i think they'll actually tell us if i'm not mistaken let me see if i go back to dover street market i think they'll actually tell us if they've got any other new bits and pieces let's click on stussy and it'll probably show you other bits and pieces. So yeah, so I've already got some prices for the men's chunky sweater that I mentioned before. That's 185. The Sherling work gear vest is 380. Um, the faded overshirt is 160. What else is here that I saw in the collection? I think that's it really. 
I don't see anything else that's, that was there before, to be fair. Everything else looks kind of different. Oh, I love the star logo. That star that star pig dyed logo thing looks really great. I love the look of that. The S logo um, Letterman hoodie looks really awesome too. That Venus pigment dyed t-shirt here looks really great. And yeah, as per usual, Stussy is one of my favorites. Always consistent. You can't really go wrong with Stussy. So definitely check them out if you haven't already. Please do check them out if you haven't already. Always flipping great. Always amazing. Always interesting. And all of that malarkey in between. All of that malarkey in between.